Alright. Time to bring the pain. Ready? Oh, crap. You can't lock up the darkness. Hey guys, Leveled Up DC TV Show here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash. And today we're going to be talking about a secret cameo happening during The Flash Season 8 finale. This is coming from an interview from TV Line, who has interviewed Danielle Nicolette, the actress playing Cecile. And yeah, she does give a very interesting teaser about a huge cameo happening during the Flash Season 8 finale. So yeah, of course we'll be breaking this down. I'll give you guys my overall thoughts and theories in regards to who it could potentially be. But before I go over anything, however, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. So yeah, as I said, Danielle Nicolette was asked a question about the Fly Season 8 finale and about this secret cameo, and this is what Danielle Nicolette says about this huge cameo. Oh my god, it's so huge, and you're going to see a face that you are going to be so surprised to see. Anybody that you're thinking it might be, nope, it's not at all who you think it is. Everyone is going to be screaming, they'll be so excited to see this person. Now, it must also be mentioned that she has expressed to TV Line that it is not anyone that has been seen on set. So for the people saying, oh, it's probably Mina Dawan or Ia Barton, no. She is talking about someone totally new over here. And of course, this is very interesting. And the fact that she's hyping it up so much to a point where she explicitly says, anybody that you're thinking it might be, it isn't. It's not at all who you think it is. Everyone is going to be screaming, they'll be so excited to see this person. It makes it look big, and someone literally no one is expecting. So because of the scale of like how she's hyping it up, you would obviously think that it's going to be someone no one would expect. So yeah, let's break it down and talk about who it could potentially be. Now we do know that there have been a bunch of characters on set filming, and these are of course the main cast we normally have, plus Reverse Flash, Barton Nora, Jay Garrick, Mina Dawan, aka Fast Track, and Speed Force Nora. Those are characters we have seen on set for sure, so we know for a fact that this big surprise cameo has nothing to do with the following people that I've just mentioned. Now since the back half of the season is very speedster centered, this does of course bring in the possibility of characters such as Wally West, which honestly would be really really sick to see. It would be so cool to see Wally interact with pretty much all these speedsters who are filming. It would be really cool to have Wally interact with Bart and Nora because that's something, well, in the case of Bart, we never got to see, but in the case of Nora, we've seen before. And of course, we haven't seen Wally in pretty much two years. So yeah, it is time to bring this man back and it would just be really sick to have Wally West being the surprise cameo. Another possibility of a returning speedster could be Zoom. Eric Wallace has expressed multiple times that he would love to bring Zoom back on the show because he loves this character so much. But also, we did have that article set photo going around of Zoom and Godspeed destroying Central City, which I know is unrelated to this totally, but they are going to have to bring Zoom back for this to make sense canonically. So could this potentially be the first time he returns? Who knows, it might be. These could provoke an exciting reaction as well, however we must reiterate to what Daniel Nicolette said, anybody that you're thinking it might be, nope. Um, when we think of The Flash, of course characters like Wally West or Zoom do come into your head, so I think it's safe to say that we should scratch them off because these would be quite predictable, so, and of course Daniel Nicolette is saying it's someone that you would, it, would, that would, it wouldn't even cross your mind. So that is why I do not think that it's going to be Kid Flash or Zoom. Now speaking of speedsters, another potential cameo we could see is Matt Letcher's Ia Barton aka the Reverse Flash. Now this one could be possible, and the reason why I think that is, is because what they're doing in terms of Kavanaugh's Reverse Flash. It is so clear that whatever they're doing with Thon for the final three episodes of the season, it's going to be the end of Kavanaugh's version of the character. They are clearly tying a bow on this version of the Reverse Flash, and there is no way that he could just go from this black-suited machine decimating everyone on set and like eventually gets defeated and becomes the Reverse Flash again. It will not make sense. It will be really weird, which is why I think that the season 8 finale will actually be the end of Kavanaugh's Reverse Flash. 
um, to help the story come full circle and connect everything with season one, we need Matt Latcher's reverse flash to come back, especially with the potential of season nine being the final season of the flash. So we could get him in some sort of a cliffhanger setting him up for the flash season nine. And of course, making him the final main villain of the show if season nine is the final season. Now, personally, this one is the one that I really want to see, and mainly because it's just he's my favorite character in the Arrowverse, but also his interactions with Barry is something certainly everyone misses, and that is of course Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow, aka the Spectre. The reason why this would be really, really sick is because Stephen Amell has said multiple times during interviews that he would love to return to the Arrowverse if he was given the opportunity. Even like if he was given the opportunity to do Arrow Season 9, Stephen Amell said he would do it. And yeah, if he was approached for this, he would definitely be down to do it. Like he said, he would want to come back to the Arrowverse, whether it's like a crossover or again do Arrow Season 9. So it shows that he would be down to do something like this. And um, yeah, it would just be so cool to see Oliver Queen back. It would most probably be as the Spectre saying that he's dead, so he won't exactly be able to come back as the Green Arrow, unless it's some sort of like a hallucination or like a flashback or some time travel involved. Other than that, he could be there as the Spectre, but still having Oliver Queen there would just be nuts. And he will definitely be someone where you would just give a massive reaction to. Like Daniel Nicolette said, whoever this person is, everyone's going to be screaming. They'll be so surprised to see this person. Stephen Amell's Oliver Queen is definitely the type of character that would provoke that reaction. However, she did also say that it's not anyone that you're thinking of. And when you think of someone big related to the Arrowverse, Oliver Queen does come into your head. So I do not think that she's talking about Oliver Queen over here, although it would be really, really sick to have him. Now, I'm going to mention this anyways, but I definitely do not think it will be this person. And the next option is, of course, Supergirl. A lot of people have wanted to see Kara and Barry interact one last time before, of course, Supergirl ended. And personally, I would have loved to see that as well. And although it would be a cool cameo, this cameo is definitely not going to be Kara. As cool as it would be, it's definitely not her. Melissa has said that she's moved on from Supergirl. Maybe she would return if they did a 10th year anniversary crossover because, of course, that is something big related to the Arrowverse, so she might be down to return for that. But there is no way that she will be there to cameo for this finale. I just don't think it's her. So yeah, sorry Supergirl fans, but it's definitely not going to be Kara. Now, the one I think it will be is Superman, and it makes so much sense. Here is why. Now, Todd Helbing, showrunner for Superman and Lois, did say that during Superman and Lois season 2's finale, there will finally be some sort of explanation, and they will basically explain its connectivity to the Arrowverse with like a reference to The Flash, I believe. Now, for the season 8 finale of The Flash, we do know that we are supposed to be getting a cameo. So what if for the Superman and Lois finale, we have a cliffhanger ending where Barry asks for Clark's help? Maybe that is what's Superman and Lois's cliffhanger for the season. And this could also be the cliffhanger for The Flash season 8, where he runs to Smallville and due to a big threat, he asks for Clark's help. That's what I think the cliffhanger of the two seasons are going to be. And of course, we have only two proper Arrowverse shows that are alive at the moment, counting out Stargirl, of course. So what if this is actually setting up a 10th year anniversary crossover, or as the case may be, a special event, just like Armageddon, but setting up a crossover between Superman and The Flash. I know Eric Wallace has said multiple times that he'd love to work with Todd Helbing and do a crossover with Superman and Lois, and I know for a fact that Todd Helbing has said the same, and he said that he'd love to have Superman and The Flash to have a crossover. So maybe what they're going to do is they're setting this crossover up for their finales, and they'd split the episodes when it comes to The Flash Season 9 and Superman and Lois Season 3 with the crossover. So they split the episodes between the two shows. So on one show, we'd have two episodes on The Flash and then two episodes on Superman and Lois Season 3. That is what I think they'll be doing. But of course, I could be wrong though, but I think it's definitely going to be Superman. Now, this is another one I've seen people mentioning, and that is Ezra Miller's Flash being the cameo. It would be really, really sick. And it, it, it is, once again, something that would provoke a huge reaction. 
And with the way Daniel Nicolette is hyping up, it does make sense that people are assuming like Oliver Queen's or Ezra Miller's Flash. People would assume that due to how Daniel Nicolette is describing this huge cameo. So that is why I think people are mentioning Ezra Miller's Flash. But it's definitely not him, given his situation in Hawaii. And I'm pretty sure The Flash Season 8 has wrapped up while Ezra Miller was still in Hawaii. So that's why I do not think that it's him, unless they're able to somehow magically pull it off. But yeah, I don't think that it's going to be Ezra Miller's Flash. Now, of course, Stargirl could also be an option. This would be something certainly everyone would like to see. And also, it would be their first on-screen interaction, which would be something everyone would love, and it would definitely be so sick. Courtney Whitmore and Barry Allen's interactions together would just be amazing as well. And also, like, I never understood with the Earth Prime comics that they're making Stargirl and, like, The Flash interact in a comic book for the first time. That never really made sense to me. So that is why I think having Courtney Whitmore and The Flash interact on live action as well during this finale, it would be better. So I think that it could be possible. And once again, they could be introducing this new multiverse. And of course, once again, they could be setting up a new crossover as well. But to be truly honest, I don't think that it would be Stargirl as well. I'm still sticking with my choice. And I personally think that it will be Superman who's going to be this huge cameo during the Flash Season 8 finale. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below which character would you guys like to see as this big cameo. I'm interested to see all of your thoughts towards all of this as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.